These keyring size lights are representative of current LED technologies, and their costs and sizes are similar to the Victorinox SD and Executive 81 keyring sized Swiss Army knives. Part 3 looks at micro lights that use lithium, button, coin, or watch cells to power a 5mm diameter light emitting diode or LED. We also make a simple button cell light tailored to meet needs. Powering these LEDs are often CR2016 or CR2032 batteries. The CR indicates lithium manganese dioxide chemistry, 20 mm diameter, and 1.6 or 3.2 mm thicknesses. These are expendable 3 volt cells, but have a wide operating range from minus 30 to 60 degrees Celsius and a 10 year shelf life. The Photon Freedom is a 7 gram minimalist light using a high quality 5 mm LED giving 4.5 lumens of neutral white light. It uses two CR2016 lithium button cells in series that gives over 12 hours of unregulated light, meaning the light will diminish in intensity over time, though the angle of projected light continues to provide a good hotspot. The Freedom offers full intensity with the press of a button. Alternatively, holding the button down ramps the light from a low glow to full intensities, thus preserving night vision and battery life. Also accessible are SOS and Morse code functions. With the light held at about 30 centimeters or 1 foot from the text and at full intensity, both pages are illuminated and entirely readable. The case is a solid feeling glass filled polyurethane with nicely rounded edges that should lessen marring when used on a key ring or perhaps your teeth if you need to keep both hands free for work. Additional pluses are gold plated contacts, easy battery change, lifetime replacement repair warranty accepting abuse, and an IPX7 waterproof rating meaning it can be immersed in water for a maximum of 30 minutes at a depth of 15 centimeters to 1 meter. The Photon comes with batteries, claw clasp, slip ring, and accessories of a hat clip and neck lanyard. We need a maker part to this keyring light series. The Photon Freedom sets a high standard in the 5mm button light domain. There are, however, lesser variants that have a simple momentary light switch or perhaps a click on off switch. These are very low cost, sometimes even giveaways, yet easy to experiment with different types of LEDs and battery combinations. There are typically four tiny Phillips screws that hold these lights together. Removing these screws opens the case and reveals the batteries and LED. This light is a simple circuit made up of a red LED, a momentary switch, and a 3 volt CR2032 battery. Some LEDs, red and yellow for example, run on lower voltages and work with a single button cell. When reassembling the light, I remember to match the polarity of the battery to that of the LED. The small flat spot in the LED rim indicates the negative lead. Other LEDs, such as white, operate at a slightly higher voltage and use two 3 volt CR2016 cells stacked in series to provide about 6 volts. This particular light's construction differs in that it has the LED and switch located on a printed circuit board, allowing a click on, click off feature. A white LED may operate in the range of 2.6 to 3.5 volts, where its maximum intensity comes at its highest forward voltage or VF of 3.5. I measure the voltage across the two batteries and I see about 5.6 volts. It appears too high, but once the LED turns on, the voltage drops to about 3.4 volts. These button batteries are not regulated power supplies, and their voltages change with use, age, as well as internal resistance in the batteries. So two CR2016 cells typically keep the white LED within an acceptable voltage range. Now let's tailor the light to meet personal needs. The existing 5mm LED can be swapped with cool, neutral, or warm white LEDs. And these LEDs are available with projection beam angles ranging from a wide 70 degrees to a narrow 15 degrees. A new LED comes with fairly long leads and only requires a bend to one of the leads along with trimming to length to swap it into the light case. New LEDs have uneven lead lengths. The shorter is the negative or cathode lead. A link is provided in the description where small quantities of 5mm LEDs can be purchased by makers and experimenters. How about a low luminance light that will run for many hours? A single CR2032 will not drive the white LED to the same brightness as two CR2016 cells. It has, however, a much greater energy storage capacity. Add a bit of heat shrink tubing to the LED and you now have a very long running covert light. For very little money, one can experiment learn about LEDs, and make a very personalized keyring light. 
Remember to adapt, make, and be resilient.